Hi, my name is Patrick Geneva, and today I'll be presenting our work entitled OpenVINS, a research platform for visual inertial estimation. Steady estimation is crucial for a wide range of different applications. And the key to deploying on all these different applications is the algorithmic complexity and the final accuracy of the pose estimate. Visual inertial sensors can provide a very low cost and lightweight 3D localization solution. We need to develop state estimation algorithms which can efficiently fuse this information together. And this class of uh, algorithms is generally termed visual inertial navigation systems. So the key problem that we're trying to solve uh, in visual inertial estimation is we're trying to estimate a historical series of poses through the environment of the camera IMU system. So as the camera and IMU move from one time step to the next, so for example, from IK minus two to IK minus one to IK, it collects both inertial measurements in this figure denoted as U from one time step to the next. And additionally, it collects uh, visual bearing information to environmental features, in this case denoted as ZM. And the goal is to estimate the historical poses, the orientation and position at each one of these time steps, along with an inertial state, uh, given these inertial readings and bearings of the environmental features. So when we looked at the existing visual inertial open source landscape, there's a wide range of, of great systems available to perform visual inertial research on top of. But none of these provided a feature complete filter system with the accuracy of the batch based methods for use on resource constrained platforms. And so this is where the OpenVINS project comes in. OpenVINS is an open platform for visual inertial research, which achieves state of the art performance. And under the hood, it's an on manifold sliding window common filter with a modular type system for state management. Please check out our GitHub here and, and our documentation website. So one of the key features to our system is a type-based state management. Each estimation variable that we're trying to estimate is a type. And the index into the location of the covariance is automatically managed during covariance reordering operations, such as augmentation, marginalization, cloning. What this indexy or ID management does is it allows for intuitive syntax into the covariance. Another key feature is the ability to perform online calibration. So we have a very complete measurement model. And so we can calibrate the camera intrinsics and extrinsics. And another important thing that we calibrate is we calibrate the temporal offset between the IMU and camera. And both these are very crucial for practical deployments and handling a very poor initial calibration. Another key feature is the use of temporal slam landmarks and ensuring proper consistency with first estimate Jacobians. We have six different representations with different trade-offs in accuracy and efficiency. Along with this, another important part of the project is very detailed documentation and, and, and derivations. And so there's a whole documentation website where we have our derivations and, and how we get specific equations. And the idea there is so anybody that's coming to the code base can look at the documentation website and instantly become familiar and understand what, what we're doing in the code. Another key feature is our system evaluation toolbox. We include uh, many different standard error metrics, including AT, RP, RPE, etc. Uh, we additionally include uh, timing analysis scripts for evaluating performance on different devices, evaluating the per frame along with uh, just general CPU load. We additionally have a complete visual inertial simulator, and the input to the simulator is just a simple trajectory. And really, this simulator is crucial for algorithm verification before you move to the real world, and also ensuring uh, that the estimator is uh, estimating consistently. So looking at uh, so some actual simulation results, well, we verified our ability to perform online calibration. And, and what we found is that we're able to handle very poor initial calibration and still have low error while being consistent. And so if you take a look at this table in the third row, we're able to start with very bad calibration and achieve the same level of ATE error as if we started with the true calibration. And the important part there is that we're not inconsistent. If, if we didn't perform this online calibration, our error would be very large and we, our estimator would become very overconfident. Looking at some real world results versus uh, existing open source systems, we are able to outperform state-of-the-art open source systems. In, in this case, we're on the UrocMav dataset. Looking at uh, another air metric, the relative pose air, 
we, we also show improvement over the state of the art. And one of the things I do want to draw attention to is that we are able to process faster than real time, um, single threaded on a, a laptop CPU. We are able to run on uh, multiple other data sets. We are able to run on the UZH FPV data set, which is a very high speed UAV data set. We did place first in the 2019 competition. Along with that, we are able to run on the TUM VI data set. And these are really there along with the, the URAC map. Any researcher that wants to come in can, can start running on, on these data sets and can start evaluating and uh, testing whatever improvements to visual inertial uh, state estimation that they can on, on any, uh, any of these data sets. So in conclusion, we introduced a state-of-the-art open framework termed OpenVINS for visual inertial research. We support online camera intrinsic, extrinsic, and time offset calibration. We have a very detailed documentation website and thorough validation and simulation and real world experiments. Looking into the, the future, um, there's a few items that we have already completed. Um, we do have MapLab integration. If you do want to run an offline BA after uh, running OpenVINS, uh, we have a very naive secondary pose graph uh, released as the OV secondary project. And in the future, we want to incorporate motion constraints such as zero velocity updates. And we also want to include a sliding window BA um, and structure for motion initialization into the repository. Thank you.